Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened there. Totally got dumped. So I'm going to wrap up. I'm not going to take much longer, but I was in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> I'll wait a second until people come back in. Hi, hey, Angie. Yeah, we're back. Oh, it's so frustrating when you get, when you get a dumped like that by Periscope. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap up. If you weren't here for the first part, you can catch the replay. Um, but I was in the middle of talking about pattern basically just being everything functions exactly the same as your shop as far as transactions go. It's just that when you send someone there, they're not seeing anyone else's items. They're not seeing the category menu on Etsy. They're not seeing the search bar. They're not, okay, Tracy, yes, thanks for the reminder. Um, they're not seeing anybody else's stuff. From the time they start browsing till the time they go through the um, checkout process. Now, I will say this little caveat. After checkout, you know how Etsy shows other things? That's still going to happen because they have to log into their Etsy account in order to check out. But the, when they're in their cart, they don't see anyone else's stuff like people do now on Etsy. And um, they don't... They, they won't see it when they get to the checkout page. It's not until after checkout. So it's just that everything looks different through the process and in your shop when they're browsing than if they go to your shop on Etsy. But everything else functions just the same. So you're paying $15 to get the ability to send someone to a domain that doesn't have Etsy in it to browse your shop and go through checkout without being distracted by other people's items or the Etsy platform in general. Does that make sense? Okay, um, and Elaine, I saw someone told you to clear your cookies. I cleared yesterday. I could see my the new shop design when I was on my phone, but I couldn't see the new shop design on my laptop, and I cleared my cache in my browser, and then I was able to see it. And just remember, it's by user. It's not by shop. So once you have it rolled up to you, you will see everyone's shops in the new shop design, okay? Not just your shop. It's not that the shops are rolled over. Um, yeah, Elaine, I agree that it's not needed. I'm going to write a... Um, blog post on that. Am I 55? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so Tracy asked about uh, duplicate content, and I wanted to mention um, I am not really, just a second, you guys. I am not super concerned about duplicate content at this point for a couple of reasons. I think because it's Etsy mirroring Etsy, um, that might make a difference in it not being bad. And really, Google, Google has made it clear that they penalize duplicate content for people who are doing it intentionally to game the system. And so usually there's not a penalty unless you're doing that. Now, it could affect the fact that you've got an Etsy listing on your Etsy shop and Etsy listing on pattern kind of competing with each other. But I will tell you this, that Etsy works really hard to get their market pages to show up high in search and not individual uh, shops or individual shop listings. And so we're already at a disadvantage in that sense. But um, that's something that we'll just have to keep an eye on as far as duplicate content goes. The problem is that you cannot edit any kind of product descriptions in your mirror shop, a uh, mirror shop, your pattern shop that mirrors your Etsy shop. Um, that pulls word for word your descriptions from your Etsy shop. So uh, there's that disadvantage that you cannot change the product descriptions. But that's something I'm gonna be looking more into and trying to glean what I can find about that duplicate content issue because that's one little concern in the back of my mind. I will be honest with you. I'm not going to completely reassure you and tell you I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Okay. Anything else? Did I, did I miss anything that someone had asked? You're welcome, Tracy. Yes, you can edit um, when you're previewing... Uh, you can edit your about page. You can change your shop name. So that's one nice thing. You know how our shop names are squished together with no spaces? You can take those spaces. You can put spaces in um, if you edit your about page. And then there's something. There's a couple little things you can do, but not product descriptions. Um, okay, I just real remember, was trying to remember a question that I was just asked. Oh, shoot. 
Um, yes, your standalone site, Elaine, I would definitely recommend that your descriptions are not identical between Etsy and your standalone site. Uh, okay, the, there was one thing that just scrolled by that I thought, oh, I'm going to answer that in just a second, and I don't remember what it was. Sherry, I think it might have been you who asked it. Hmm, that's why I have a pen and pad in front of me, because I, if I jot down just a couple words, it reminds me that I don't remember what it was. Okay, so look for that blog post later today. If you are on my mailing list, you'll get and you have, you're have you subscribed to my RSS feed, you'll get a notification of that. And um, otherwise you can just check for it sometime before the day is over when I get it done. I always think I can get them done uh, way faster than I do and then a blog post takes me hours to write. So this will probably be no exception. Uh, I will be back on tomorrow right around, well, oh, how, block, thank you, that's what it was. Yes, Sherry, to block beforehand, before you, um, like each day, before I go on Periscope, and I forgot to do it today, but usually I go through and I block before I go on Periscope so that those people are not notified. But you can do that in your own account each day. Just check to see if you have followers that you don't want. And it's usually not difficult to see the ones you don't want. And then you can block them. So that way, um, if you share a scope, it's not notifying all those followers that you don't want to jump in that, pe that person's scope. So that was a good question to ask. Thanks for asking that. And then just a reminder too, is I always forget to say this, but if you want to share a scope, you can swipe to the side on iOS or up on Android and you can share it to Twitter or you can share it to your followers who follow you on Periscope as well. Alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Tomorrow will probably be either a little early or a little late because my son gets out of track practice right at my scoping time. So um, it'll be a little jiggly this week. And we'll get back to normal hopefully next week. I will talk to you soon.